Hey, what is up guys? I'm motherfucking Oki here, bringing you some more Leona support gameplay. Today we are going to be trying out a Korean build. So what I did was I went to a site called LOL Elix. LOL Elix is the website. And what it does is it separates all the servers, NA, EUS, Korea, and everything. Uh, you can actually go into each server and look at the top builds per champion. Uh, per server. So I, what I did was I went to the Korean server, found the highest win rate items, which are the Banner of Command and Iceborne Gauntlet. So we're going to be trying out a Korean Leona build today. I think we should be getting her flash here, right? Mm, almost. Almost. But yeah, guys, it's a really, really cool site. I'll leave the link to it down in the description. You can go through each server, pick out whatever server you, uh, you want to emulate their builds of. I personally did Korea, and I would recommend you guys look at the Korean builds. Um, but yeah, the, these, this website, it actually breaks it down by popularity of the item and, and win rate. So the items that I'm going to be build have a very, very low win rate. It's not the standard Korean build, but it is the most efficient one. It has a 70% win rate if you pick both of these items with only around a 4% pick rate. So 4% of all Korean Leona players are playing this. And of those 4% that are playing them, they win 70% of their games if they build this. So actually a really, really high win rate build. So we're going to be seeing, testing out the efficiency of it here on the uh, good old North American server. Uh, took a lot of, lot of early damage there. I'm not sure if uh, we played that correctly going in at level 2, but we'll make it work. Oh, wow. Lulu top is popping off. All right. Zaya is pretty injured. Um... We might have to back off here, let the wave just push to us. I can use my relic shield just to give her a bit of health back. Uh, I'm not sure if she's calling for a gank or wanting me to fall back there with her. We can just farm for a bit until she has some more health. Pop my W, get the extra resistances. Yeah, we're going to be rushing Banner of Command if we, uh, you know, if we can make it through this laning phase without dying. But uh, yeah, the fact that you rush Banner of Command means that it's a very, very uh, kind of split push oriented build. Not necessarily split pushing on your own, uh, but just putting pressure on the map, creating pressure, getting your wave, keeping your waves pushed in. This should be a kill. Bye bye. Gonna be taking the first blood there. Don't have mana for the stun, so I'm just gonna back off. Thank you for the ganks, good sir. All right, that is definitely going to help us recover uh, all that early damage that we took. The Namis can just be so oppressive in the beginning of the landing phase, guys. Really highlights one of the weaknesses of Leona, is that once she goes in, if you're not in complete synchronicity, synchronicity, is that the right word? Synchronicity with your, uh, your ADC, uh, one of you is just going to get completely chunked, and it can throw off your whole landing phase. But luckily, Kane had a enough presence of mind to come down here and correct our lane for us, so I do appreciate that. Um, banner, let's go ahead and just grab the cloth armor and a control ward. So uh, what we want to know, what we want our jungler to know, is that Nami flashed, and I still have my flash. I still have my flash. I can just flash on Nami and get you a kill. Always entice them with the possibility of getting them the kill. Don't say like, oh, we'll kill Nami. Kane, you get the kill, buddy. That usually gets your jungler down in your lane. <laughs> uh, we Luckily, we used Ignite so early that we can actually just, we might not actually need, yeah, we can just all in this. All right. Uh, my E is up in two seconds. It's not worth going in there and taking all that turret aggro, though. So we did have to blow three summoners there, but we got another kill. And it went on me. Definitely going to help me in uh, getting my banner earlier. Let's just sit out here in front of the, the wave zone jinx off. Don't let her get any of this farm. She might be trying to, like, zap it. Her little pink zap. You can just block that. I don't mind taking that damage since I'm not really in any danger. Oop. Barely got out there, didn't she? Okay, so I'm going to use my Relic Shield on this one. I'm going to take my W, walk all the way into the wave. Get the Sunlight procs on all these guys. Get them all nice and low for Zaya to just one-tap them. 
And let's go back. Ping her back. Whenever the enemy ADC goes back like that, you guys always want to push it to turret and deny her that CS. Sometimes the uh, the support will be smart slash good enough to know that she should hold the wave. So you'll have to walk up and say, hey, Nami, I'm not going to let you just take all that, you know, freeze the wave like that. Um, just make her back up so that the wave hits the turret. Yeah, we denied her like a good chunk of gold by pushing it to turret. Alright, so wanna ping my level six so that she knows when I'm six, because we've got a ton, a ton, a ton of kill potential on our level six. We don't need he he's actually good. After we got that second kill, we definitely, definitely have everything that we need to win this lane now. Without jungler ganking. No, that that first gank was more than enough. Mm, looks like he is coming down though. I'm thinking that that's probably warded. Yeah, they're they're acting really, really scared, so it's got to be warded. We'll just farm. On my six, all in whoever I catch. So the good thing about this lane is that they're both immobile squishies. Um, once I land my Zenith Blade, they don't have really any tools to get me off uh, before I get my whole combo. They don't have like a Thresh Flay or a Janna W or a Janna Q. Yeah, my six is up. I'm going to wait for her to be six, and then we're just going to all in. Actually, gonna drop this. Keep him totally blind. Deny the vision. All right, she's six. If I can, I I can wait for my ignite. That'll definitely uh up our chances of this working. But we might not actually need the ignite. If I can land my full combo on one of them. Yeah, we're going in on this. Ooh, the jungler's here as well. Oh, this is where it gets interesting, guys. This is where it gets interesting. Alright, so that just might be a zero for zero. Both teams are kind of backing off. That was a pretty good counter gank by Jax. Um, they did actually get more of it out of us because we had we used all of our ultimates. Nami isn't even level six, so she doesn't lose her ultimate, obviously. Um, Kane used his ult and uh, and his flash, so they did unfortunately get a little more out of that, but it won't matter. My ult is relatively low cooldown, so We'll just try it again in 40 seconds. We do need to respect the Nami ult as like kind of a free engage since uh, Zaya has neither flash nor her ultimate up. 30 seconds on my ult. If they're going back, like I said before, we just push it to turret, but they're not, so we're just gonna freeze it. Just keep it out here. I'm gonna last hit this one. Get the relic shield proc reset. We're gonna do the same thing to this guy. I don't want I don't want to execute it. I want to try to get the last melee on it, so I'm, we're not pushing it any faster than it needs to be. I love having the wave out here because that means the only reason Jax was even able to get in on that action is because we had pushed it so far far to the turret that. All right, you know what? We're we're gonna do this again. We're gonna all in Nami. We're gonna ignite that. That's a kill. They were not respecting the Leona damage at all. So just punish them, guys. All right. So now what we do is now that it's a two v two. And we have the uh, ability to dive them. Uh, we want to push it to the turret. So we want to make this as hard for Jinx to farm as possible. So we've got a ton of gold. I've got a thousand. She's probably got, you know, 1300 or so. And even if we just have to leave her under her turret here, we want to go back. We don't want to stay in lane too long. Nope, we leave. Yeah, she'll be able to farm that fine, but it's okay. I don't have the mana to be able to dive her, plus we don't know where Jax is on the map. So diving actually isn't too great of an option here. Uh, we're going to be building that, that. We are 500 out from getting our 70% win rate item, guys. I'm excited to see this. I like, in my builds, I personally never build Banner of Command, so I'm pretty excited to be able to play with it. 20 per or 20 seconds on my, cool on my ulti, so it'll be up by the time I get down there. McDonald's Coke. Not sponsored, by the way, boys. Looks like they're trying to do a dragon. Oh! Hmm. I don't think that's going to kill him. Ooh, the Nami ult will, though. Okay, well, that's good. Both of their ultis are down. Just going to take these away from them. 
Nami's got red buff. We do need to be aware of that. Oh no no no, Zai Zai Zai. I was just I was just having presence. Yeah, Zai should have been pushing this. It's okay. We know Jax is top side now, so that we're gonna make them take the long way around. We don't want them to be able to just walk the lane. We want them to miss experience. We want to punish them as much as possible for doing that little river excursion. We're gonna dive this. Ah, didn't land the ulti. Still might be able to get it. Yep, easy. Was able to last tap or give it to Zaya. Very nice. Get some damage on the turret, and I do have mana this time, so we're looking for a dive, especially because Zaya has both summoners up. Auto Q, auto, get the W. Ooh. All right, the TP did come out. Uh, man, I could be in trouble here. I'm just gonna go ahead and flash out. We know Jinx doesn't have rocket because she used it earlier. Zaya might be in a bit of trouble. Yeah, it was a good attempt by Talia, but we did bring three people bot, so. That's not terrible to trade that. Uh, we got Jinx's Flash. We brought their jungler and their mid laner bot. We're getting some free pressure top off it. Whatever. Not terrible, not great. Um, I am actually just going to wait 30 gold because I've got 30 gold for my banner. Looks like they're probably going to be setting up a dragon. Yeah, that's a safe dragon. Just give drag. No big deal. No, 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 no guys. We don't want to fight that. We don't want to fight that. Okay, I do have Banner Command now. Yeah, it's just a Mountain Drake. It's not It's not anything crazy. Mountain's pretty good, but um, I think their comp would have been done a lot better with like a Water or an Infernal. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to kill Jinx. We're going to put the uh, Banner of Command. You don't have Flash. You're in, you're in trouble, girl. We're going to let them uh, finish off Jinx. We're going to start working on Nami, holding her in place. Just holding her in place. All right, we got her flash. That was pretty easy. Yeah, th champion like Jinx that has no mobility and no form of like self-preservation if she has no flash. All right, I'm not going to waste my stun on that. All right, Lulu, dude, that is a Triforce Lulu top. Incredible. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, can be kind of tough to push against the Malzahar if you don't have a Banner of Command. Because Banner of Command is impervious to magic damage, so what is he gonna do against it? Unfortunately, we don't have a cannon minion, but um, if I can afford to wait for that, I'll, I'll wait for it, but really like to get this pushing now. We're going we're gonna to banner that guy. Let's pressure this turret. Pressure this turret. My ulti's up in five seconds. Oh boy. That was a yikes. Okay. So they, they rotated a lot faster than I thought they would. I, I really thought that Jinx and Nami would be going bot and honestly they, they probably should be. A lot of experience is getting wasted down there. I see you, Jax. I do. I do see you. You're you're not exactly stealthy. Okay. Just throw the ulti on her. Yeah, that, that was pretty foolish of her. Um, I might catch her. She, yeah, she doesn't have boots. I'm gonna catch her. Oh, Jax, you bastard. All right, time to reset. I'm gonna go get tier two boots, um, and then I'm gonna start. We'll have 50 seconds on my banner. We'll probably start putting that top. Actually, it's much more effective if it's in a lane that you're actually not pushing with. Uh, if you if you, if you just use it where you're pushing anyways, that's more of like a banner or a baron buff kind of thing. Uh, banner of command is m most effective when you like put it to the top lane and then you guys go mid or bot. So I'll try doing that with the next time. We got our Merc Treads. Trying desperate. Oh shit. Okay. I thought I thought Kane was coming through the wall here. That was um that was a little greedy on my part. I should have just let that tower go. 
Yep, definitely should just let it go. Um, so Iceborne Gauntlets is our next purchase. We don't necessarily have to fight this. Wait for me. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Cannon, cannon wave. So we're gonna we're gonna put the spot. We're gonna put the put the spot and then go uh go top or mid. Yeah. Go get him, buddy. Go get him, pal. That is a brave little cannon minion. So now that's gonna just keep that shoved to their turret and make them eventually have to respond to it or end up losing a lot of gold and some turret damage. The ignite on her, get another kill for the good guys. Is he gonna ult me? Go ahead and ult me, bro. I'll mess your face up. All right, so Jinx is bot. See, look at that. She had to go back and she had to go down and clear that, which gives us some pretty good pushing opportunities mid. As long as we don't get caught under turret, I'm fine. I'm I'm the tank, buddy. You can't you can't just delete me like that. I'm the tank. Yeah, I'm glad these uh these merc treads are a really good purchase. Now that I'm looking at it. Hmm, I'm really low, but that Malzahar is. Man, I'm gonna go down to that, aren't I? Yep, we're not gonna use my heal on me. That's too bad. Man, that, that Lulu is doing crazy amounts of damage. I have never seen a Triforce Vamp Scepter Lulu, man. Holy moly. Okay, so we need our Iceborne, like, immediately. Dude, this is a tough game, man. How did Bot lose to Lulu so badly? Yeah, their CC is just crazy. Unstoppable, by the way. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fight this. We're gonna fight this, guys. Kill the Jinx, please. Bro, kill the Jinx! <laughs> We're just missing everything. <laughs> Alright. Well, at least we didn't get any more deaths. We got Lulu's Flash as well. Oh, oh, that is an Inferno. We need to fight that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to throw that We're gonna throw that mid. Hopefully get us some free pressure. We're going to go fight this dragon. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. They're so low. They're so low, baby. All right, that is clean. Go, go do Baron. Go do Baron. 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 Go to Baron. Go. Don't chase, guys. Don't chase, guys. Guys, guys, guys. We had Baron. Why are we chasing a Malzahar? Wait, I've I've targeted the, t the honey fruit from across the map. <laughs> I didn't even realize he could do that. Okay, so we got that. We got that. Yeah, I, I still think that doing Baron is a decent call here. Uh, they don't have any teleports, so, you know, worst comes to worst, we're going to see them coming. We've got four men on the Baron. Talia, I need you to continue focusing the Baron, girl. We earned it. We got them greeting for Dragon. Good job. Oh, man. Oh my god. I can't even believe they just did that. They stole the Baron with Jinx ult. No way, man. <sighs> That's so frustrating. That is so frustrating. Man, if we hadn't spent... Like, we made so many mistakes on the way to the Baron. Like, Talia not focusing it. Nobody body blocking the ulti. We didn't smite. We spent a lot of time wasting chasing after Malzahar too. Man. It's okay. 
It's okay, man. Miss time smites happen. It's part of the game. But wow. This game just got a lot harder because of it. I'm just going to throw the ulti, try to save Kane. Not Kane, Orn. All right. So what do we do now? How do we come back from that? How do we come back from the Baron throw? I'm going to banner of command this cannon. Uh, and we're going to go respond to Malzar's split push. I don't think he has flash. Although there's three people here. We should be able to do this. I got a stun on, on Malzahar. Yes. Get him, guys. Get him, boys. Yes. Good job, good job. Oh, Jinx just, like, obliterated my <laughs> my banner of command. Uh, I've, got, I've got about 300 gold left before I get my uh, Iceborne. Yeah, about 300 gold. At which point I will have the Korean 70% win rate Leona build. God bless. Alright, we can we can look to push mid. Malzar's Malzahar won't be here for a little bit, so if I can get a catch here, or if Talia can wall someone off. Or Orn can even engage. Really, we, we have a lot of hard engage. Alright, here's what we're going to do. Ooh, I don't know, man. I, I think if we get aced here, it could be game. Mm, okay, yeah, let's just back off here. It's not worth ris risking the game over. We got Banner up in 27 seconds. I'm going to stay. Oh, yeah, they wanting to fight. They're wanting to fight on the rest of their Baron. Alright, we're, we're doing it. Nope, nope, nope. I didn't get. I didn't land the stun on Lulu, so I just didn't go in. Not worth suiciding if you don't get the perfect stun. Forty seconds. We can wait that long. That's the thing about Leona, man. Once you go in, you're not coming out. You're either killing them or you're getting slaughtered. All right, I'm gonna put this down in bot lane. If this cannon would let me. There we go. All right, free pressure on the map. Uh, we can go deal with mid and top now. Go get him, cannon. That cannon better. That cannon better do big things. All right, I've got about 60 gold. Got about 60 gold on my iceborne. Oh no. Oh no. No. Flash out of the jack stun, dodge the uh, jinx rocket. Is that it? You gotta stop fighting, girl. It's all about stalling out now. It's all about stalling for that cannon to push. We got our item. We need to. We'll, we'll have to give this inhibitor up. Orn got caught pretty hard. Yeah, none of these guys use their alties. No, that's too bad. Alright, 15 seconds. We're gonna throw this over here. Clear out some vision that they have. Oh, if are they, I think they're greeting. Yep, should be a two three man knock up. Three man knock up for Morn. Big thanks, big thanks. Oh I'm stunned, man. Where's the rest of our team? That seemed good for us. That seemed really good for us. Huh. I don't know if people would just weren't paying attention or if they're too far back. Alright. Okay. Should probably use your ultimate at some point, Kane. Okay, now we just uh, clear waves. Keep using our banner. I hit all of the manned. We still got nothing. That sucks. Yep. I agree with you, Orin. I, I do think that we had good catches there. I think our damage just was sleeping on us. Alright, Malzar is bot. He'll probably be gone by the time this wave gets down there. I'm hoping so, anyways. 
Banner of Command is a great way to stall out games, by the way. By giving them something to focus on other than last hitting your Nexus. Okay, one minute for the next Baron. I'm a little hesitant to call any more Barons now that I know that our jungler isn't very good at smiting. Clear out this bad boy. So we actually got both of the items that uh, the Korean build entails. So kind of what we build now is a little, little free form. So I'll probably build like a Righteous Glory um, just to give us that pep in our step when we're trying to hard engage on Lulu. Because I think if we don't catch Lulu or Jinx, we just kind of auto lose the fight. Let's get out of there, guys. Let's go ahead and start building up Righteous Glory. Um, Baron is in 20 seconds. We really, really need to shove out mid lane before... God damn it, man. Our jungler died in our, our jungle. So that's probably going to be their free Baron. Uh, they're also pushing bot. This should be a pick here, but nobody's paying attention. Twenty five seconds on my banner. Let's get some wardage out, prepare for the siege. Alright, the good news is they don't appear to be setting up any sort of baron which would be totally free for them. Malzar and Nami just started moving towards it. I think someone on their team just called Baron. Yeah, they, they definitely called Baron, so we need to be in a position to, cha to chase here and prevent that. Please stop their Baron, guys. Anybody? Mm, Jinx isn't doing it. How fast could it be? Come on, Kane. Redeem yourself, buddy. Let's see it. Oh, my God. <laughs> he missed it twice, man. He missed the Baron twice in one game. All right. Well, uh, it's looking like they had Baron and Jinx up, so they're definitely going to be in able to end off that. They'll d they're just going to run it down mid. That was a good game, and the build really does feel pretty good. Um... So yeah, guys, let me know down in the comments what you think about the Korean 70% win rate build. Unfortunately, we're part of the 30% here, but uh, I think we just had some misplays around the Baron pit. But uh, let me know in the comments what you guys thought about the game. Clearly, they're going to close it out here. Uh, we're not up for 20 seconds, so hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace! Okay, now peace.